the Ed Roberts campus is a universally designed building which has been built at the Ashby BART station in Berkeley, California. It was designed to be a memorial to the life of Ed Roberts, who was an uh, early leader of the independent living movement. It brings together disability services and creates a center that is a resource for everybody within the community. The Ed Roberts campus is it's kind of an example of what we can do when we work together. This building expresses the idea that good design is fundamentally a social justice issue. Everyone deserves the right to a dignified and inspiring place to live and work. For people with disabilities, the barriers in the built environment have always been a problem. Thinking about the universal design and really the goals that we were trying to achieve made me realize how important architecture and design is to full inclusion for all people. Both the disability community and the broader community are very proud of this facility. There was a lot of support for it throughout the community. We went from being kind of not in my neighborhood to, uh, oh yeah, come here, come on, let's go, let's do it. This will be great, we'll love it, it's going to be wonderful. We had 13 years in which to design this building and really to figure it all out. And so a lot of what we did is we worked on how do people with different disabilities use it and how did people with different disabilities have differing and sometimes conflicting needs. Sometimes a solution for one person creates a barrier for another. One of the wonderful things about the Air Office campus is there's an open space. I never feel like I've got to like wind my way through a bunch of obstacles. It's amazing to me just to be able to get in and out of the building without having to negotiate everything. Out in front of the building, there's the textures and the concrete. The concrete is also different colors. It's a way of letting people who are blind know how to find the front door, but not becoming a barrier then for people who are wheelchair users. So one of the incredible things about this building is that it brings universal design to a level where it's combining universal design with aesthetics. That's a really important piece of this. It's making universal design something that's not institutional and cold. The concern all along is we didn't want the building to look like a hospital. This building is showing us you can do great things. This can be exciting. It can be a wonderful thing. Being in a place that's a world-class center on disability has made us realize that we wanted to do more than we've been doing, do more national programs and really have a bigger um, impact on our community. Previously, the agencies were scattered throughout the city and really didn't have the kind of um, visibility or, frankly, political clout that we do now being together. We're collaborating more. We're learning about the issues that each one of us are working to challenge the status quo. You know, the people who are blind learn about people who are deaf. They hear about people with developmental disabilities, people with physical disabilities. We're not segmented anymore. I'd like to see universal design get to the point where green design is now. I think universal design is the next strategy that should become part of all design. You can build a universally designed building that's usable by a broad range of people and have it be very beautiful and functional as well. Designers and architects shouldn't think about the code requirements as restraints. They should see how designing for a diverse community is an opportunity to be creative and to open the world for more people. Not everybody is six foot. Not everybody is, you know, able-bodied. Not everybody is 35 years old. It's clear that it can be solved. I mean, it got solved. The building has become an icon for the disability community worldwide. Universal design really is good design. It really is making buildings that are functional and that really adapt to the people who are going to be using them as opposed to having people adapt to the built environment. That's the way it should be.